So it might seem a bit odd that we start the first part of this lesson with a slide entitled IUPAC Nomenclature Machines Do It Better, but in reality, this is the case. By using a chem drawing tool such as Marvin Sketch, we can generate the IUPAC nomenclature for any organic compound with a simple click of a button. And if we were to modify the structure of hexane, such as by adding a benzene ring to one of the methyl groups, we could see that addition of this benzene ring uh, immediately changes the name of this compound to pentylbenzene. While it may not be important for you to be able to apply IUPAC nomenclature and name a very complex organic molecule, it is important to be able to name certain organic compounds that are present within these very complex molecules we will see in the future. We can begin by systematically naming alkanes, which are hydrocarbons that contain only single bonds. First, let's consider straight chain alkanes, which are alkanes that are not in cyclic structures and do not have any branches. All alkanes will follow this molecular formula. A straight chain alkane containing one carbon atom is known as methane, and an alkane that contains two carbon atoms is known as ethane. If we apply the formula from above to ethane, or any other straight chain alkane for that matter, we could see that ethane has two carbon atoms, and if we do two times two is four, plus two equals six, we should expect to have six uh, hydrogen atoms, which is the case we see here, and the case that we will see with all uh, straight chain alkane structures. The rest of this lesson requires you to become familiar with the nomenclature given to straight chain alkanes. A three carbon straight chain alkane is known as propane, while a four carbon one is known as butane. And if we return to the ideas that we learned about in lesson four, we can remember that in skeletal structures, carbon atoms are not explicitly labeled and carbon to hydrogen bonds are implied. We can use the fact that in order to remain neutral, a carbon atom must have four bonds associated with it to predict how many implied hydrogens surround each carbon atom in its structure. Finally, this slide provides the nomenclature given to other straight chain alkanes. It is worth memorizing because even though I mentioned in the first slide that assigning names to very complex organic molecules is not needed because machines can do it for us, many organic compounds derive their names from the alkanes that we went over in this uh, lesson and it will be very helpful for you to know these when beginning to interpret organic structures.